The difference between Oyura and Olaga is a little bit like in English to do and to make. When I say Olaga, then I'm actually creating something, I am making something, I'm producing something. And when I say Oyura, then I'm just spending my time on doing something. So for example, you would ask, Vajurdu, what are you doing? But this does not imply that the, the activity you're doing necessarily leads to some result. However, I would say, I am making a cake, I'm really producing it. You can eat it once it's finished. The difference between Norwegian and English here is that in Norwegian, we are pretty strict when it comes to using olaga. We can really only use that when we're actually creating something. For example, in English, you would say, I can make an exception. You're not really making something, are you? You're not really creating something, but we're saying that. So there in Norwegian, we cannot use olaga. We would say, vi gjør et unntak. So from the grammar perspective, olaga is pretty easy because it's very regular. It's even regular in two different ways. You can choose the preteritum form. It can either be lagda or lagat. Whichever you prefer, both are correct. Yura, on the contrary, is very irregular. Even in the present tense, the forms are o yura, ja yur, ja yuda, ja har gjort. But since it's a verb that is very common, I suggest that you learn the forms by heart because you're always going to use them.